Why does the price of gold matter? Humans have coveted gold for centuries. One of the earliest records of gold dates back to 2600 BC, when the ancient Mesopotamians used it to create some of the world's first gold jewellery. These days, as well as for bullion and jewellery, gold is used in the medical, electronics, defence and aerospace industries. It is also increasingly used as a catalyst in many industrial processes. We have valued gold for centuries because, like silver, it has a low melting point, so it is easy to, to transform into jewellery and into coins. But unlike silver, it never tarnishes. Like oil and wheat, gold is a commodity. But unlike oil and wheat, it can never be used up. Whereas oil is burned in the production of plastics or in transportation, and wheat is eaten, gold remains gold, unconsumed and permanent. Because of this, the demand-supply argument doesn't hold as well. The supply will only go up over time, even if demand for the metal dries up. Gold is also different because its price doesn't necessarily affect any potential economic recovery. This is because gold is used more in luxury goods and is not a necessity like other commodities. Therefore, it is unlikely to propel or drag economies. From a fundamental perspective, gold is generally viewed as a favourable hedge against inflation as it functions as a good store of value against a declining currency. It has always been a go-to investment during times of fear and uncertainty, which tend to go hand in hand with economic recessions and depressions, which is why the price of gold is a good indicator of what's to come.